The 10th Croatia Forum titled New Development Policy, which has gathered some 50 delegations from around the world, continues in Dubrovnik today. The three-day event, which was opened by Croatia's President Kolinda Grabar-Kitarevic, Prime Minister Zoran Milanovic and Foreign Affairs Minister Vesna Pusic, is dealing with issues from sustainable development to the challenges of terrorism. Among those attending is NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg. In an exclusive interview for Croatian television yesterday, NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg addressed recent NATO military exercises in the Baltic Sea. He concluded that Russia is trying to establish a sphere of influence in the region and that this was unacceptable when independent countries are involved. War crime suspect Dragan Vasilkovic, who arrived in Croatia yesterday following a 10-year extradition process in Australia, is being questioned in Split today. The former Serb paramilitary commander is suspected of a litany of war crimes committed in Dalmatia and Banovina during the Serbian aggression of the 1990s. He has been appointed a lawyer until he decides on his legal representation. Members of European Parliament yesterday passed a resolution condemning the genocide in Srebrenica and sharply criticizing efforts to negate it. Preparations are underway in Bosnia and Herzegovina for Saturday's commemorations to mark the 20 years since the massacre of mainly Muslim Bosnians by Serb forces under the command of Ratko Mladic. The 66th Dubrovnik Summer Festival opens at 9 tonight. At midnight last night, the final rehearsal for the opening ceremony was held with many visitors on hand to catch a glimpse of tonight's festivities. Hajduk Split and Lokomotiva Zagreb have advanced to the second round of Europa League qualifications. Last night, both teams played the second leg of their first round matchups with Hajduk hammering Estonian club Silamaye Kalev 6 2 to advance on a 7 3 aggregate score, while Lokomotiva played Welsh side Broughton to a 2 all draw to advance on a 5 3 aggregate score. Hajduk plays Slovenian side Koper next, while Lokomotiva faces Greek side Pauk. The other Croatian team in the competition, Rijeka, had a bye in the first round and will play Scotland's Aberdeen. Predominantly sunny today with some mild to moderate cloud cover in places. A strong to gale forced northeasterly on the coast will gradually weaken and shift to a westerly and northwesterly. Highs for the day will be between 23 to 28 degrees Celsius inland, 28 to 33 on the Adriatic. Predominantly sunny in the interior this weekend with daily highs on the rise. Despite this, it will be relatively chilly on Saturday morning. Also, on Sunday evening, increased cloud cover from the northwest will spread to other parts of the continent by Monday, bringing with it a chance of some localized showers and thunderstorms, as well as cooler temperatures at the beginning of next week. Predominantly sunny on the coast, with a mild to moderate westerly and northwesterly. The northern coast will see a northeasterly on Monday, with a slight chance of some showers and thunderstorms.